Hello everyone, Karnasa Games here and welcome back to the 8th episode of this series. Now that's double the length of any other attempt that I've made so far, which is very nice. And of course this series being the story following our four subjects, Agent Agent, Rose Barnello, Wilson the Android and Stanley Ripley. Stanley, I believe her first name is. Stanley the girl. And of course... Our four subjects would be nothing without our main girl. We have Queen Beck, who currently is busy at work researching on making us some nicer weapons. That's right, she is doing some research to get those machining benches. Everyone now has a whole load of jobs that they can be getting on with. Everything is looking good. We kind of want this up here. We, we want the inside of the fortress to be almost completely done very shortly. And I think the thing that's really holding us back is going to be the blocks. We, we don't have an awful amount of blocks at the moment. We do need someone to kind of prioritize that and get working on cutting these up. So let's have a quick look in the work tab and see if we can kind of almost force someone to work on those Wilson looks like he is potentially going to be a good candidate. He is set to mine at the moment, but I think it's more important that we get the structure of this done. We want this to all be built up. We want to be safe. We want to have this perimeter wall up and sturdy so that when any raids do come along, we can kind of defend against them as to the best of our ability, we, we don't want to, we would rather not lose any of these colonists, especially the first three. Beck is obviously the highest priority, she is the queen, she is most likely going to be hunkered down inside in almost like a panic room when the raids come, because she is, she is relatively okay at combat, she's got a shooting of four and a melee of three, so she's not the worst, but she's also not brilliant, and as the story goes, we would rather her not get in the direct line of fire. She she is royalty. We have to protect her at all costs. That's why we have Agent Agent, because he is her personal bodyguard. This is, this is his life's work, is to make sure that the Queen remains safe, especially in these dangerous, dangerous times of being a starter colony on a far-flung rim world. Well, it is certainly looking promising that a lot of this will get constructed today because Wilson, the ever hardworking android, has spent all night basically, yes, crafting up these marble blocks. So this little bit of floor up here should be all finished very shortly. And I think we're going to get some marble blocks in there as well for Ripley Stanley's bedroom. Stanley the girl, you are going to have a lovely bedroom floor. It looks like Rose is going in to uh, complete that now. I think what we want in here is we're going to have a carpet floor in this common room area. And to do that, we need to actually get cracking on with turning this cotton into useful cloth. So let's set up a bill for that at the moment. There we go. We've 20 cloths. Do forever. And that should hopefully turn all of this into stuff that we can use. And something else we're going to want to do. We are suffering from a bit of tattered apparel. We're going to come into here and make some dusters. So if we do that five times, we have five colonists. Yep, we'll do that five times. So we have five dusters. We'll make everyone some more just general clothes. What, what does she actually have on her at the moment? She has a poor cloth t-shirt and poor purple pants so we could do with making her some new trousers and some a new kind of like not not a duster which obviously goes it's like a jacket we want to make her some some kind of t-shirt as well so if we get this up we will have a look and where are we looking we can make pants we will make five of those I don't know why you'd want to make underwear that's shaped like that, but fine, fair enough. I know it's pants as in like the American term of pants. Me being me being from the UK, pants pants is underwear. Pants that you, that you kind of get the imagery of very I think the Americans call them tighty whities, like Y fronts. Yes, that's what I imagine when I hear the word pants, so it is quite amusing. Uh, but apart from the pants, we are going to want to make some t-shirts as well, because 
Yes, Stanley's t-shirt is looking like it has seen better days. It is rather ripped and torn, probably got shot up quite a bit when we uh, attacked her with Agent's assault rifle. It's probably, yes, got a few bullet holes in it that just unfortunately can't be ironed out. They don't come out in the wash. I mean, it is a hole, it's not a stain. So let's get that done. We will... We will make some lovely new clothes and we had a zap event but it seems like nothing has gone wrong we've just got a bit of a damaged wall let's quickly go into power and see if that broke any of our power conduits that's the word i was looking for it seems like it hasn't but now we are of course out of battery power that's really upsetting because this food will spoil at least the freezer seems to be taking high priority, which is nice. And we are, the, the, the wind at the moment does seem to be providing enough power for us to actually charge those batteries up a little bit. We don't need those solar panels right away. A red sky lights the way for a new morning in the settlement. The settlement of the castle of Beck and it looks like all of the uh, building orders that we have set up already have been completed so we can actually if we have a look we have 388 slate blocks thank you Wilson very much for actually getting that done so now that should hopefully provide us maybe definitely not enough to uh, finish off all of this but it'll be enough to make a large dent in this perimeter wall and I am going to have to remember to unroof this area. I don't want this area to have a roof, especially if we've got like our aircon, outside aircon units out there. Because yes, we need we need this to be basically open plan. This is a this this is a perimeter wall. This this isn't supposed to be part of the building. This no, this is just like the outside little area where where we can walk in between our walls and our actual fortress proper the 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 bailey of the mott and bailey i don't i don't think that's the right term mott and bailey obviously being a kind of old style of castle if you look it up it's like a got a little wooden palisade on top of a hill a very early very early style usually made out of wood but yeah, I don't know why that popped into my head. Obviously, I'm I'm building, I'm, I'm attempting to build a castle here, and that's probably why I thought of that. But we would rather like that cotton to be spun into cloth. If we could potentially get Wilson to do that, I think he's busy hauling. I think a lot of these slate chunks over here have been designated to be taken away. Yes, they have. So he is going to keep making these these slate chunks here. Not that not that that's a too bad thing because we are going to need all the slate we can get our hands on at the moment to build up this area. I want this kill box to be done relatively relatively quickly. Oh, and we researched smithing. Very very nice. And we have a raid from the oh dear people. This is where it all goes bad. It is only one. One from the Orion Corporation, and the Orion Corporation are very deadly. This pistol is lethal, but on the bright side, Erica Haynes. I mean, you are relatively good at a lot of things. You are incapable of nothing. You don't have any modified... You don't have like an Orion exoskeleton, which they can sometimes turn up with, which basically makes them super, super strong. No, you just have your general body, but what she does have, what she lacks in bionics and all of that, she makes up in this MRG pistol, which is lethal. That thing will kill you quick. I am considering once she actually starts making her way over what i might do is i might actually hide a lot of people inside and see if we can get the jump on her with stanley who is obviously our brawler and while stanley does that we may get agent to shoot her up a little bit because she is going to win in a firefight with that pistol she will win and that pistol actually when we get hold of it will uh 
dramatically increase our colony's wealth, which might lead to much bigger and deadlier raids. But we'll, we'll deal with that once we've actually dealt with her. This could be, this potentially could be where we lose someone. The raids that we've obviously had before haven't been particularly life-threatening. We've had a couple of rats and a couple of people with clubs. But there we go. That's the uh, little notification that she is on her way to start her assault. So we are going to get everyone locked up inside nice and safe. Agent, we want you drafted as well. Beck, you can carry on doing you because you are only researching. So you're not actually going to uh, get in way, get in the way of the line of fire unless you decide to have a little bit of a wonder outside. If you do decide to do that, I think we're going to have to draft you up as quickly as possible. But hopefully we can kind of bait Erica to uh, attack this door. And if she does that, we can then get the full combined might of Stanley, not Stanley, Agent and Rose, who are equipped with their hunting rifle and assault rifle. We can get them to fire at her. Right, so she's gone around the corner. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Come on. Erica, what are you doing? Go and attack her. Go and attack her. Get that knife in. Oh, she, she, she got a hit in. Oh, she stunned us. That's that's not brilliant. Come on, Stanley. You are a brawler and you have a knife. She has a pistol. Brilliant. We killed her. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I've got um, like realistic human sounds on. So when someone dies, they they make a lot of screaming noise, which obviously just happened there. But yeah. Erica is dead. It is a shame that we killed her. We stabbed her to death. I think a knife is obviously quite a lethal weapon, so it's hardly a surprise that she died. But it'll be nice that we've got that excellent MRG5 pistol, which actually has some artwork on it. Oh, there we go. It even kind of fits where we are. The weapon is engraved with a representation of an oasis. We are obviously playing in an oasis biome. Is that the right word? Kind of location? I'm not entirely sure, but we are going to have to dig her a grave. She is the first kind of person that I have to deal with who we actually need to dig a grave for because everyone else died kind of like over this way. Oh, no, no. The only person that's died on this map has been Devin, and we've kind of just left, left him rotting out in the open because obviously we captured Stanley and Rodion, or whatever his name was, ran away. Rose, are you... No, you're just having the time of your life throwing horseshoes at a stick in the ground. I thought she might still have been drafted because of the way she's facing. Wilson is though. Oops, Wilson, you can get back on with doing work. I would really appreciate it if we could pull that MRG pistol in because we do not want that to deteriorate. It's at 79% already. So it's not too bad, but that will be that will be very, very useful. Stanley did take a bit of a beating. She only took cracks from 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 Erica's fists. So it could have been a lot worse. Had she been hit by that MRG pistol, she might not be with us to uh to tell the, the tale of how she bravely ran after the Orion Corporation soldier and plunged her knife deep into her neck, left shoulder, right arm, left arm, right radius, right foot, right second toe, and right middle toe. How the hell have you managed to do that, Stanley? What were you on? Were you, like, crawling along on the floor, stabbing her, like, in the foot? That's, that's really strange. I'm... I would have thought that most of the uh, hits from a knife would have kind of hit her in the torso because they were both standing, but no. Stanley is obviously an expert in knife combat. She knows more than I do. She knows that the foot is definitely the place to go for when you want to stab someone. But it looks like she has been healed all up now by agents, so she should recuperate hopefully fairly quickly and... That looks like the night is setting, so let's get ahead to morning. And there we are, back, back in the morning on this, on this lovely Rim world at the, at Castle Beck, part of the Kingdom of Beck. And I think what we want to do, obviously we have got this 
horrendous dead body in our dumping stockpile zone at the moment. We want to get rid of that. And I think to get rid of that, we are not going to dig a grave. We are actually just going to go straight for the crematorium route. That way we won't have a large silly area full of graves that we kind of don't really want to see. Graves are going to be reserved for colonists. We are not going to make them any graves. We are going to make them big and um, sarcophagi. That's the word I was looking for. I was having a bit of uh, trouble trying to think what that was. But there we go. We're going to get this slate electric crematorium in. That should be lovely. We should... Yes, we should definitely have enough to make that. I'm not entirely sure what Rose is doing at the moment. Oh, she's going around maintaining a lot of stuff. Because we do have a lot of stuff that needs built. Needs, needs built? Needs, needs to be built. That's the words I was looking for. Words, I can use them. Not always, apparently. But we would rather... Yes, uh, it looks like this, this perimeter wall is slowly coming to... If once you've built that, you could prioritise working on that so we can actually get rid of this body, which is otherwise just going to be rotting in our in our uh, in our storage, which we we don't really. It 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 must be a bit of an awful smell in there. We we'd rather not have to deal with just the ro the odor the odor of dead body wafting mm. through the castle. Oh, and we unfortunately cannot rescue Giles any longer. He has been left out there far too long and is most likely dead, but we didn't really care about him anyway. He, uh, he wouldn't have been a particularly useful addition to our colony. So, yes, us being the kind of people we are just left him to die. And uh, I've noticed I'm still on the power screen. I'm just going to put those in there like that, just... For a little bit of redundancy in the in the event of a zap event so we don't lose power to say this section of the castle stanley fortunately didn't take too much damage from that raid from the other day and is now up and fighting fit again and she is off doing everything that uh, that she needs to be doing and agent has contracted diarrhea from dirty water now i am not entirely sure why agent has done that because we should have clean clean water although if we have a look at our water tower it is untreated not that there's anything we can really do to help that at the moment because we uh we're currently researching how to make better guns and better turrets and gun turrets and all of those lovely, lovely defense things that we are going to need. But uh, we've cremated him. Let's see. Let's finally get rid of this body as well. Let's go into it, though. Human-like corpses. Are we able to... Uh... Yes, we are. Let's Let's just designate androids to be cremated as well i i don't know if there's something better you can do with them like say uh turn them turn them into scrap metal schwarzen no we're, we're definitely not thinking about turning you into scrap metal and oh, someone's got a heat stroke agent and rose Oh, yes, it is rather warm outside. We are looking at about 41 degrees at the moment, but I don't know why you should be getting heat stroke in here. I mean, this is rather warm in this this bit of the castle, but it's nothing terribly, terribly bad. I think maybe what we'll do is we will get a air conditioning unit in here, just, just so that this bit is nice and cool. So... Everywhere in the castle is at a reasonable temperature and that's one thing that I did look at doing last episode But I forgot to do is put a vent in between these just so Everywhere around here is nice and chilly Agent agent thoroughly enjoying his breakfast as soon as he is woken up his breakfast lovingly prepared by Queen Beck Probably going to be adding a dash of food poisoning in there as well because she seems to be poisoning everyone with what she's doing at the moment One thing I Think we have now completed up to here with our slate wall. Let's see how much slate we have left We only have 43 chunks. That's 
not going to last us an awful amount of time. So we probably need to uh, get someone on a little bit of a slate haul. We're still picking up slate from over here, which is a little bit, yeah, I, I don't think we want to be doing that. That is a very, very long way away when if you look over here, we've got slate just here, which might be, we've got slate in our farms. I, I don't know why we've been going all the way over there to get slate when actually we have it a lot closer to home. And what we'll do is we'll start building up the proper outer layer of this and we are going to want to have i think we'll go for a steel door there i'm just trying to figure out how the best way of getting enemies to kind of move in a direction that i want unfortunately these are going to be outside so we're not going to be able to protect them very well using this kind of layer setup that we've got here no it's gonna require a little bit more than what we've got so i think actually eventually what i might like to do is kind of continue this perimeter wall around so it's big enough that we can get all of our power production in because it would be a real shame if we were to lose that because obviously it's 37 degrees outside it is very hot if our air conditioning goes down people are going to be very unhappy and will probably start suffering from heat stroke and the like Rose, hard at work on producing this wall. I don't know why she's left that slate wall there. That seems rather silly to me. Beck, you have been particularly slow at researching today. I don't know if last episode, obviously, I set up the research to all be done at once. And that has meant that I've not had a pop-up saying oh you need to do this research you have run out of research to do unavailable research all of that kind of stuff no we've got it all kind of sorted for the next three technologies as you can see by the little three down there but uh, we're gonna have a look at this little pristine ruins thing Naraka's prime counselor of Onuia has sent us a message so their scouts have uh, discovered some ruins untouched condition treasure can be enormous the same can be hostile forces. Does that make proper sense? I I don't think that does make proper sense. But we've got 12 days to um, go and check this out. So let's go see where it is. So we're in the world map screen and that is actually quite far away. That might take 12 days just to get there. Because we have all of these mountains in the way. And that is a savannah and an arid shrubland, which don't take a particularly long time to walk over. But still, yeah, that's... I think we're going to unfortunately have to leave that and not bother. Not until we get drop pods. Something that can transport our... Something that can transport our subjects. I almost said something different then. I have been saying for the past few episodes that I really need to stick with the word, but it always kind of eludes me. It's always on the tip of my tongue. But our subjects, something to send our subjects a little bit further, a little bit faster. And obviously, we don't have anything like packaged survival meals yet. We've not, we're not really prepared to go out on any incursions, excursions, incursions, excursions, I think is the word I'm looking for. But Beck, not Beck, Rose. Rose, our busybody, our jack of all trades, has finished building this section of the wall. So actually, one last thing that we're going to do at this episode, because this is going to be the end of the episode. We have come to our time. I am just going to build this. Let's have a quick look. That we will cancel, cancel you for now because you are in the way. We're just going to build this up so that... We know this is going to get done. This will be something that we get to see built up in future episodes. Hopefully it won't take too long because once that's done, that is the, the entirety of the fortress. And then we can start expanding outwards of the fortress and really build up this settlement around us. But that, of course, will happen in a future episode. Because as I was saying, that's all I've got time for now. But I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and if you have enjoyed it, please go give that like button a 
I don't really know what to say anymore. Uh, yeah, just, just go whack it, punch it a few times, you know, take it to dinner, all of that. And yes, if you have really enjoyed it, why not keep up with my content and consider subscribing as well. But I have been Carnassa Games and I will see you later. Thank <laughs> you.